Hello Motivators, my name is Brandon Bullard and I am the Director of Fitness and Nutrition with Team Motivate. Sponsored to you by Soldier Water and Walk for Troops. Now, today we're going to talk about snack attacks, okay? What are some good snacks that you can have throughout the day that will help keep that metabolism up high, meaning you're going to be burning more calories at rest and throughout the day than if you weren't going to be snacking throughout the day, okay? Very simple, just prepare and prep your snacks, okay? What I like, one of my favorite snacks, I love celery. Celery has soluble and insoluble fiber. And what does fiber actually do for you? Well, besides help clean you out, it helps keep your satiety level high, meaning that you're going to feel full for a longer period of time. So I got a handful of celery stalks here. Just chop those guys right now. And I like to keep my vegetables definitely in the refrigerator because the water in the vegetables gets a little chilled, okay? Heck, you could even freeze them too, and it's a little bit more refreshing, okay? It kind of feels like a, a little, little treat, more of a treat, and like you're cheating, okay? But you're not. Now, I'm the type of guy, I like my hot and spicy food. Now, I know I have to watch a little bit of it, okay, so that, you know, too much of, of anything is, is bad, but I definitely like my hot and spicy food. You know, and you get the, the hot wings, and you can definitely make hot wings healthy, and I'll show you how to do that later on in the future. But for a good, fun snack, I like my celery stalks with some hot wing sauce and some fat-free ranch, or you can do fat-free blue cheese. Now, <clears throat> literally, just so I know, and I can keep ahead and know exactly how many calories I'm putting into my body, I'm literally going to measure out. Now, <clears throat> the only bad thing about the hot wing sauce is that it is pretty high in sodium, but and one serving size is one tablespoon. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double it up. Okay. So yes, there's a lot of sodium, but you definitely need sodium too. You need for your workouts. But I drink. I drink a minimum of roughly two gallons of water a day. So keep that body. You know the most macronutrient that you should be putting into your body is water. Okay, your body's made out of roughly 77% water. That's your muscle cells and your whole body. So making sure that you're definitely getting plenty of water in your system and that'll help get the minerals and nutrients and the food that you're eating into the cells that it needs to get into. Okay, plus it'll help flush out that sodium. So don't get all freaked out and, and messed up. I don't, you shouldn't either. Okay, so I did two tablespoons of the hot wing sauce. If you want to cut back on the sodium a little bit, then just do one tablespoon. Okay, and then also a certain size, I got the fat-free ranch. Two tablespoons is actually 30 calories, not too bad. I think I might do two or three tablespoons, but I'm going to put that in with the hot wing sauce. So this is a good kind of fun, fun snack. Makes me feel kind of like I'm cheating, but I'm not. <clears throat> I'm going to do three. Three tablespoons of fat-free ranch. Like I said, you could do blue cheese or heck, mix match. Have some fun with it. Just because what I'm showing you are just some some little paths, ground rules that you might might want to take. Okay. So there's the combo right there. A snack here, and I might even throw in some protein powder. Just throw in some powder and a little uh, shake. Mix that up with this. I got some good protein, carbohydrates, and fats right here in this snack. All right, motivators, I'll be back in a second. All right, motivators, I'm back. Now, besides just using the celery to dip in the hot wing sauce and the fat-free ranch, or you could use whatever other salad dressing that you want, but just make sure that it's low fat or maybe fat-free, definitely use a pepper. Anything that's red pigmented, especially for you guys out there, will definitely help with preventing prostate cancer, okay? Anything that's also red pigmented also helps increase your metabolism. So go for the red, okay? What I like to do is I like to break out the stems on my peppers, cut around the stem, and then as soon as I cut around the stem, I pop that out, throw away that part. Now there's plenty of seeds inside here, so I want to get rid of all the seeds. So I'll cut the pepper down right in half, okay? So that's all I have to deal with. I'm going to quick wash this pepper out. Wash out the pepper, get rid of all those seeds, and I tell you what, it's important to get rid of all those seeds, because if you don't, 
try to chew one of those seeds, you'll, or you'll break it too. Okay, they're, they're pretty hard. So slicing up these, slice up the pepper. I like to, the way I like to slice up the pepper is put the skin side down. Kind of grabs the cutting board a little easier versus the other way. Slice up those peppers. As soon as I get done slicing up the peppers, I'll be right back. All right, motivators. All done, sliced up my, my red pepper. So I'm going to take my red pepper, throw that in my Ziploc baggie. So now, with the hot wing sauce and the fat-free ranch, I can mix match and use these red peppers for my, like my potato chips. Or I could get a healthy potato chip and uh, count out exactly what a serving is, one or two servings, and put those in a Ziploc baggie too and, and dip into my little sauce concoction. Okay, so I have celery and I have peppers. Now one thing that's really nice about these is uh, <clears throat> when you're actually chewing a lot, your mouth releases what's called salivary amylase. Okay, salivary amylase is an enzyme that your mouth releases to help start breaking down food in your stomach. Okay, a good quality, good quality enzyme releases, releases those acids to help break down food. One thing that you don't want to do, and the bubble gum people might not like me, is to actually chew gum throughout the day. Um, if you're chewing gum, do it after a meal. Because if you're chewing gum on an empty stomach, your body, like I said, releases, or your mouth releases that salivary amylase. That salivary amylase is going to go to an empty stomach, increasing, increasing the acidity inside that stomach. Well, guess what? If there's nothing in that stomach to break down, that's what can also cause ulcers. Okay, so if you're going to chew gum, chew gum after a meal, releasing more salivary amylase to break down food that's in your gut. All right, motivators, stay happy, stay healthy, stay motivated, and don't forget, we wear our choices and our efforts.